Welcome to Paul's Experimental Workshop, where the scientist, engineer, maker, and me all get together, get to play, tinker, create some stuff, have some fun. Not always perfect, but we made it, so we love it. So I am making a bird bath, which is really I'm making a stand for a bowl. I found this bowl at Marks for about $4. It's about 13 half inches wide by 3 inches deep. So I want to make this stand out of wood. I like using cedar fencing because it's $1.65, $1.75 roughly for one piece, which is about six foot long and about five inches wide and it's about a half inch thick. So that's a nice piece of wood to work with. The first thing I did was roughly split it in half, about two and a half inches wide each. If you pick a size like two inches, you're gonna be left with a little strip um, of board left over that you could do something with or do nothing with. So since it's fencing, it's got this little uh, piece at the top that's not full width, so I needed to cut that off. I ended up cutting them 35 and a quarter long because I wanted four and I wanted about 36 inches and the board isn't actually six feet long it's like 71 inches so this got me to have just a touch left over now i thought i'd try and do something a little bit strange i wish i had a planer to put this through to get it down to a certain thickness but i don't so i wanted to cut the board a little bit thinner from the middle up so it would be able to get a little bend to it so I kind of put it sideways through my table saw and cut part of it off. But of course you have to cut through the pieces that I've now kind of split in half since I didn't go all the way from top to bottom. I went down from top to the middle um, so I had to cut off the piece that I didn't want. I had two rectangular pieces of board that I ended up cutting square. The big one's about 15 by 15, and the small one was about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I ended up cutting. Um, the big one is three quarter inch plywood. The other one's half inch plywood. I think if you wanted to, I would work with both of them being three quarter inch plywood. But this is just what I had left over. I measured in two inches uh, at the corners from the edge so that I could cut that piece off. I had to freehand it on my table saw because the size of the pieces it won't go on the chop saw and a jigsaw is just a pain to try and get anything perfectly straight and the freehand actually worked out pretty good. The reason I wanted to cut that corner off was because I want to fit my vertical uh, boards right there. So that got me to the right size to, uh, for the width of my vertical boards. I tacked my uprights in place with my air gun. And then I put one screw in at each place to get it a more solid fit. You probably could have even used some uh, waterproof glue on the inside, you know, gluing wood to wood, have it all stuck together really, really well. This is what we came up with. Um, I, the top one I left sit down a little bit so that I had the uprights can hold the bowl a little bit. You might want to look at the size a little closer. My size came out okay. You know, it depends on what size your bowl is, what size board you're going to get. You know, do you want the top lip sticking over or not? Um, the other thing you could do is you could actually cut a hole in the top board and have the bowl sit in it a little bit. So there's a closer view. As I said, you know, you could cut a hole or you could, you know, change the width to make those verticals hold it really tight. Take your pick on how you want to deal with that. Me but measure. This is looking straight down with the bowl in it. You can't even really see the, um, the wood. Here it is looking at with a little up angle. You can see that the uprights don't actually hold all the way up to the lip, but they are touching all sides of the bowl. And the bowl is just slightly above the uh, top board. You can have it sit right on the board, have it above a little bit, hanging in place. Um, I could put a little um, riser in there to get it flat. But it works pretty well like this to measure what how you want to go so this is it out in the wild 
you might want to paint it you might want to stain it uh the the horizontal boards the big boards being just plywood i don't know if i really like that you know being out and about because they're going to peel apart but there's no 15 inch wide cedar i'd have to take uh some fencing the five inch and you know glue three of them together kind of thing to make it uh be that wide but that's a, an option and this is the other one that i made out of pvc which is much easier to put together but doesn't quite look as good so take your pick